everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel. We are playing Signalis today, a survival horror game that came out in October of last year and it's been on my to-do list with some trusted recommendations from people whose opinions and tastes I know and uh, can genuinely believe when they say uh, that this is a game that they are so very happy with and I'm excited to try it out. So I've had a quite quite a few recommendations for this one and it's been on my to-do list and I've been thinking about which horror games to tackle next and there's definitely a lot on my list but I'm like let's do it let's just jump into Signalis it's a it's a more of a recent release and it seems to be impressing anyone who's touched it and that excites me so I don't know anything about this game I may or may not have seen trailers for this one uh, before it was coming out for release. I can't exactly remember, which is exciting because I don't have any images in my head right now when I think about this game, just that it's a survival horror experience and I like the vibe already from, from the main menu. So we're gonna press any key and we're gonna jump in. Okay, ooh. The eye tracks with the cursor, cool, okay. Begin. Wake up. Ghost in the shell. Oh, this is a cool art style, like pixelated 3D. Oh, cool, okay. Let's get a handle on the controls. I can move, I can sprint, okay. I have whatever this is. I have an area map, maintenance, toggle map scrolling, inventory W. Oh, this is cool, okay. Diagnostics. I like this. Action menu. Can't activate that yet. Cool. All right. Now uh, can I click on things to like inspect them? I guess. Okay. Cool. The lock is defective. This door cannot be opened. Okay. The UI is cool immediately. Climb up. Okay, we've got multiple directions. All right. LSTR features repair logic module. Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program. LSTR type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, an RLM, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Accessing the RLM functions. Act, enter the inventory screen by pressing tab. Select the item to repair with A or D and select F to open the command menu. Select the combine option to enter combine mode. I'm saying combine because it's just like making me think of like Half-Life when it's popped up in this context. The combine. All right, select the combine option to enter combine mode. While in combine mode, select a second item to repair. Press F again to combine both items to repair damage to the replica body. Select a suitable repair item and simply choose the use option from the command menu. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides. Select the inspect option in the command menu to enter inspect mode. While in inspect mode, use WASD to rotate the item to look at it from all sides. A survival horror staple. All right, this is cool. I already get like so many nice little um, Resident Evil style, like user interface with like the your status with your health and inspecting an item to like look for secret things. That's already very cool. Inspect. Penrose 512. Pick up adhesive tape. Yes. Picked up adhesive tape. 
Oh, this is cool. I really like how this is put together. Scout vehicle status monitor. Critical system failure detected. Location, unknown planetary surface. Crew status, A. Yong, a Gestalt pilot, no signal, and hey, look, it's me. LSTR-5112, a replica unit, active in the mess hall. Hard landing on surface has damaged critical systems. Warning, surface temperature critically low. Wear protective clothing during AVA. Scout vehicle status monitor. Okay, I read it all already. That's fine. I just read it on the actual screen. Can I press any buttons? Pressing any buttons? No? Okay. Cool. So that was just a... Okay, that was just the... Looks like it's a tutorial book on how to repair ourselves, so... I got some tape. That's very cool. Watch out! A transparent polypropen... Polypropylene? Polypropylene-based pressure-sensitive tape that can be used for joining, sealing, attaching, and mending. Many uses the old duct tape there. Okay, can we go this way? This seems like the way that we meant to be going. Lock is defective. Go this way. Ooh, ooh, this first person mode. Okay, the the map's core. Cool. Right, we got the airlock. Change floor with Q and E. Nice. Ha, gotcha. Okay. Maybe we don't want to go out the airlock because we're gonna need um what were we told? We need stuff. We need a suit. Oh, is this a, is this can I get? There's an AVA suit in the case. Gimme. Okay. Okay. Enter his phone to the airlock controls. Locked. Insert key card. Classic. I need the key card. The suit has been removed from the case. That'll be probably the other person. Actun decompressions gefahr. So we've got some German stuff here and I cannot pronounce that uh, in a good way at all. So don't expect that of me. I'm just look, trying to look at all of these, like the iconography and all the details and stuff. It's very cool. All right, maybe not yet. We need a key card. I want to have, I want to know if there's the option for, can we have like always running, you know? Can I have always running? Sprint style, sticky, toggle. Okay, I guess toggle. I would like to toggle, yeah, thank you. I just don't want to hold it down the whole time. There's no reason to walk. Photo. A faded photograph is stuck to the LDAM controls. Pick up photograph, yes. Picked up photograph. Let's have a look. A photograph taken on self-developing film. Ooh. Despite the damage, Ariane Yong can still be seen on it. So, Ariane. And I can inspect, right? Inspect. Well, we got some squares. It looks like the pigment was damaged by time and exposure to the elements. Okay. Not sure what the deal is with that. A small roll of adhesive tape. And hidden in the tape is... Ah. Right. The landing and docking assist. The LDAM. Landing and docking assist monitor. It's of no use to me now. The starboard controls panel. The controls aren't responding to any input. Probably an electrical failure. The ship's control panel. Judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. Okay. Let's see if there's like... I guess maybe if there's something to interact with, the icon would change. The port controls panel. There has been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. 
The ship has crashed in an icy landscape. I like how much sort of how much we've got to like look around and inspect a full area. The ship's control panel to lost cause. Chair. I wish to investigate chair. Alright. Cool. That'll do. Investigation complete. Let's go this way. Another book. Of Clarung's room Fazug. I will I cannot I do not have any German in me whatsoever. Uh Penrise type vessel field operations manual. Penrose type vessels of the uh the Use Yusan Yusan People's Navy are low-cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge in the search for planets and moons fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a Gestalt scout officer supported by a land survey ship technician replica. This partner system of Gestalt Replica cooperation has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt officer and the technician replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck while the replica will take care of the mechanical maintenance of the vessel. More. More. What is this? The Gestalt officer's sleeping bunk. Okay. There's going to be a key card in here. A smeared diary page. Cycle 57. Okay, but there's some lettering blocked out. Woke up from cryo in empty mess hall. I was wondering. Elster is looking out flight something. Like some lost in thought. Sometimes I feel maybe lonely. Is home. Okay, we, we yeah, definitely smeared. Smeared is definitely the thing. I like that it highlights very well when we're looking around for things to interact with. We know if we're wasting our time searching or not. Cool. Ooh. Oh, cool. This will be the photograph. Easy. I understand. Can I investigate it before I interact with it, though? Or are we just straight up? Diagnosis systems for the cryogenic capsule. For the cryogenic capsule. Okay. Uh, well, guess what? Easy as pie. Um, top two, and then, okay, cool. So, do, 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 do. Did that work? I say yes. Empty. I don't know what I expected. Oh, it's not empty. There's something in there. Two pieces of a key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Our key card. Pick up the airlock key. Ah, and this is where we have the repair tutorial. Gotcha. Picked up airlock key. So we read about the repairs. So we've got two halves. So if I just... Oh, and we use it with the tape. Okay, perfect. Look at this, everyone. This is how this works. A magnetic key card that allows access to the Penrose's airlock controls. It's snapped in half. If I can find a way to hold both halves together precisely, it might still work. But then the tape would be interfering with, like, the actual identification stuff. But, all right. Uh, combine with tape. Oh, it's... Apparently the adhesive tape is 
Ah, oh, nice. They thought about that. How clever. And the tape is actually not interfering with the black line. You got me there, video game. Fine. Magnetic key card that allows access to the Penrose's airlock controls. It's been mended with tape. They thought of everything. I was gonna I was gonna be critical of the fact that the tape would interfere with the card. Alas. Cool. Alright, this has been very straightforward so far. In a good way. I like that they've put everything there for you. And if you're observant, you've already picked everything up that you need. There you go. Da -da -da -da. Instead of running straight to the center, always look around. Key card, let's go. Insert key card. Use LR key, yes. Used it. Airlock use authorized. Give me that suit. This art style was immediately an instant classic. I love it. A game by Rose Engine. Oh, so cool. Signalis. It's waiting for a title. Yeah, I really like this art style in like a 3D space. It's very cool. That cinematic letterboxed format. Oh, I'm in first person. Am I walking? I am walking. Oh, this is strange. And look around. Wild, okay. Cool. First person segments. It's gonna be a portal to another dimension. Oh, stairs leading down. Ominous. No guard railings. Nice, okay. Let's just go down into the ominous pit. Don't even question it, man. It's a hole? There's a strange hole leading deep into the ground. There's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into the hole? Sure. It's not like I've got anything else to do. Crawl into the hole. Follow the faint light. Oh god. This is cool and creepy. Oh. Nice. Okay. Cool. An ancient looking tome is lying on the table. It feels like it is calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow. Yes. Picked up the king in yellow. Okay. I got a book. Preparing to send a message. Great holes secretly are digged where Earth pours out what to suffice. Great holes secretly are digged where Earth pours and things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. Oh my god, my face. Okay. 
remember our promise. Wake up. Signalis. Okay, title card in a very cool and effective way. That was cool and creepy. And I love it. Oh, that's instantly so cool. Chapter one, synchronized. Synchronized? Synchronization? Oh, I love it when a game wastes no time in like hooking me in immediately. So cool. Very awesome. Ooh. Mary, could you really be in this town? Dude, what the fuck? This is so cool. Bathroom stalls in various states of disrepair. This is so cool. Um, the face slowly being torn away with that ominous text over the screen. Oh, I love it. Like the, the flashing to just things that don't make zero sense to us right now. But there's some there's some cool stuff happening here for sure. But yeah, I love a slow burn and games that do have like a setup that can take a little while to get into because I'm patient. But also when a game immediately is like, I'm going to put my claws in, I'm going to hook you and I'm going to take you on this ride. I feel that immediately. I'm like, okay, let's go. I came all the way here to find her. There's no turning back now. Yeah, <laughs> this is a Silent Hill 2 reference for sure. We even got the, we even got the butterflies while we're staring at ourselves in a bathroom mirror. I feel it, I see it. I'm gonna choose to take that as, a, as my Silent Hill 2 intro. Got a letter. It's locked, I need to get a visitor pass from the reception first. There's a key card with a note taped to the window of the reception. Due to staff shortage, report new arrivals at classroom 4C, Northeast. Okay. The northeast. Pick up receptionist key. Yep. All right. Surface access lift. I don't need to go back. Okay. I wanted to see more of that uh, that room that we went through. That that like we've moved on so quickly, but I don't have the book anymore. Just kind of the book is not in my inventory. There's not like a key items thing. And it's not in here. How do I access, hang on, inventory module. Aha. Okay, we just have these. We don't have the book. You select mem, hang on. You select memory, view memory. Oh yes, very cool. So I guess it's it's we're not picking up items, but we're si we're cybernetic. So it's all in our brain. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The photo is different. A photograph taken on self-developing film, despite the damage, Alina Co can still be seen on it. Okay, this is not... This is a different person. Okay, hold on. Looks like the pigment was damaged by time and exposure to the elements. But the photo is not as damaged as it was before. We're in a different, oh, we're, we're actually earlier in the story then. We're earlier in the story. Because the photo is less damaged. Welcome to S23 Sipinski. You've been selected or have elected to be relocated by Aeon to S23 Sipinski. Located on Lang at the frontier of the solar system, S23 Sipinski is the perfect place for a new beginning. At our prestigious 
Redacted vocational school facility, you will learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of our wonderful nation. Here you will learn all about mineral extraction, ore refinement, and munitions production, helping the war effort against the remnants of the Empire. And of course, learning is not just about theory. Aeon lets you earn your share while practicing your new craft right at the workplace. Concerned about your family, friends, former colleagues? Ask a protector about our ration sharing plan. A portion of your ration marks will be sent to a beneficiary of your choice. Wow. Okay, so it looks like we've woken up uh, out of cryo. We've investigated some things. We've gone into a hole. We've picked up a book. And then we've had a, a something has happened. And then we are now earlier. For sure, because the photo is less damaged. We don't have the book in our inventory. We're just all of a sudden in a different place. Um, so this is quite cool. I'll go along for this ride. I'll go along for this ride. I'll see what you want me to do, game. We've got the key now. Use the key. Let's go. Dink and die regalder. Trag nimir als ges gen gegenstande bedir. I should probably stop even trying. I understand. I'm sorry. I know I've just made everybody cringe. The rule of six. Remember the rule of six. Never carry more than six items on your person. Private property is a privilege. Keep your pockets empty and your bag light. That is a survival horror staple. Do not pick up things willy-nilly. Okay. The lock is defective. Well, I mean, it's a bit more than that. It's also taped. <gasps> I'm being watched. I'm being watched. Surveillance camera. Is someone watching? Colonel, there's a surveillance camera here. It's locked. It requires a key, not the key that I have. Okay. Locked, locked, locked. One way to go. <sighs> Dead body? The dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. The Yule. Infected looking bio components are bulging out of her damaged shell. Bio components. What happened to her that would cause this? Infected looking bio components. Cool. You watched. Oh, it's such a silent hill. Oh my god. I mean, it's so silent hill. Let's save. It feels like it's clawing its way into my brain. Oh, so cool. Progress saved in file 01. The red save points. It's really funny because when I saw on the back of the photograph the nine squares and only some of them were red, I was go literally going to say, it's like the final Silent Hill 2 save point, except they're not all red. The save points are red televisions. I do love it. Service request form F29. Date of filling service request form 84-21-4. Full protector ID of unit filing request EULR S2309 replica. Status staff department redacted. Full protector ID of unit processing request ARAR S2303 replica. Service object. Mond and Tokta High Security Wall Safe, numeric keypad, location of object, Classroom 4B. The wall safe in Classroom 4B keeps resetting to the default combination. What's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened with the code in the manual? Lovely. Thank you for that information. Um, what's the default combination though? Would you like to tell me that? That would be nice. One, two, three, four, probably. It's the Triforce. What? <laughs> Memorandum. What? Wall safe codes. 
It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Adler. Okay. So radio stuff. Safe things. All information I do not yet possess. Orf Zeich Nungen Furen. Keep records. Protocol everything. Remember, if you didn't write it down, it never happened. Get the right forms from administration and save your files frequently. I do love the floppy disk being a universal constant for saving. To the point where people nowadays are like, they don't, they just, that's a save icon. They don't know what a floppy disk is. It's ancient technology. Okay, we've, we can see our save files on there, where we can save, very nice, locked door. You know what I like about this game so far, at least at a glance, just straight up, is there is, there's a lot of inaccessible doors, and there's a lot of accessible doors. It's great, because a lot of games, like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Dark Souls, anything with locked doors, this door is locked, this door is broken locked from the other side and it's a constant funnel into the only way to go and I love that this game obviously has broken doors and ones that we can't access but there's many that we can. I don't feel an overwhelming sense of this door is broken. Laufen in den Gangen verboten. Habruxit auf den... can't read that. Yet can dik laufen horn. Oh god, terrible. No running in the hallways. Be mindful of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Oh. Should I be careful? Do I need... Oh. No running in the hallways. Everyone can hear you run. I feel like that that is very useful information. I've been running this whole time. One, two, three, four. Ready? Default code. Actually, I don't know how many numbers there are. How many numbers? It just lets me go forever. Oh, okay, hang on. Um, what would a default code be, though? You know what I mean? Like, if you're thinking a default code. Okay. You win this round. I will investigate some more. A default code. A default code. Can't look at those. Can't investigate anything here. Maybe I need a, a like a to figure out this radio thing. All right. Does the safe get marked on the map? It does. Very nice. Okay. We're gonna go back to the previous hallway. Guys, no running. Tried this door. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god. It's another one. A dead Yule unit. Why was she abandoned here? Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. An aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, I could view its content here. Okay, aperture card. Oh, it's a mirror. A simple first aid kit. I can't use any of these since they're not designed for replicas. That's funny. What's that? What is that? What is that? Okay. Is there anything? It's dark in here. I can't see shit. Can I have like a flashlight or something? Um, okay. Problem is, it looks like you have to be really, really close for the inspect prompt to come up, and it looks like there's stuff to interact with, like the first aid kit, 
that doesn't highlight as well, so there are missable things to inspect. Okay. No running in the hallways. Except for me. Alright. Hmm. Ooh. Star, an Elster unit? You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. Elster, I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? Okay, so I'm an Elster unit here. Star, I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. All guest out workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. So we all like look the same, right? Like we got the same like hair, we got the same face, and then like even uh no, the one on the photograph, no, does not look the same. Different hair for sure, but we are similar. But we're a different unit. I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. So they have like bio components, which means I guess in that sense, they've got blood running through their veins. And there's a repair patch to stop it. So first aid kits don't work, but there is cybernetics involved with bio components. Very cool. You should get out of here too. I don't know who that woman is, but she's probably dead by now. If you still want to go, good luck. There's an access elevator. Okay, she's probably down there. Pick up protector key. Okay, there you go. Pick up protector key. Magnetic key card for the observation room. Classroom key required, okay. Okay, well, the one that was locked was... Um, hang on. Map scrolling. Oh, nice. It should be... I'm assuming it's this yellow one now. Like, we can access that. That one needs a classroom key. I'm assuming it's this one. I guess I should just save... For all I've done, I've done so much. Oh. This game has got the no on the left hand side, so I keep accidentally clicking no. Observation room, hence the symbol. Use protector key. Yes. I love the fan detail with the little streamer. I can see an empty classroom on the other side of the window. Oh, the glass seems like a tinted, like it's tinted or one way. Cool. And we can hear through the speaker. I can see an empty classroom. We are being observed. Okay, please. I'm trying to pick up. Thank you. Memorandum, terminology. 
I announce the following by order of Aeon, due to recent events in accordance with the new Aeon Public Interest Media Regulation AGM-87, the term redacted, which is currently in use in various Aeon facilities, is no longer permissible and no long and must no longer be used. Premises and departments that are currently using the term are to be immediately renamed. Management personnel shall black out the term from all signage and documents until replacement terminology is announced by Aeon. With immediate effect, usage of the term in conversation and correspondence is an offence, obscenity to the state, to be punished with two cycles of double work shift. It may not be easy, but we all have to do our part here. Always remember, our language shapes our world. A perfect world requires a perfect language. Wow. Okay. So we've got some sort of, um... We've got our socialist, sort of Soviet-era, Soviet, Soviet era sort, of, sort of cyberpunk... Ooh, gun. Soviet cyberpunk stuff. In that sort of way, but German. With a lot of German influence. Pick up the pistol. Yes. Pick up the aperture card. Nice. We know where we can go with that. I got a gun. Type 75 pistol. Use a manual. It's a short recoil operated locked breech semi-automatic pistol chambered in 10 by 20 millimeter. This reliable versatile handgun is the standard issue sidearm for Aeon Protector controller staff. Replica users, remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. To deploy the weapon, hold the right mouse button to disengage the safety and enter targeting mode. While in targeting mode, left click and F will both fire the weapon, R will initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition for it is a resource of the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with a baton to preserve ammunition. Okay. Equip. I got a pistol. That's cool. 10 millimeter ammunition from a 10 round magazine. Easy to use. High rate of fire. Protector. Low damage, but large magazine capacity and a high rate of fire. Okay, very cool. Nothing in the bottom one. Cool. All right. I got me a gun. Ooh, okay. We can aim. Conserve ammunition. All right. Um, I got 10 bullets. All right. Well, we've got an aperture card, so let's get this bad boy red. This is going to get up on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I was like, it's moving. Do I have a baton? How does this work? Oh, kick it. There you go. Nice. Oh my god. The music kicking in immediately is such like that. Oh, I, I'm, I'm pulling out. I'm going to say Silent Hill a lot because the music is that very much like sort of like that metal clanging and that weird sort of like grinding noises that comes like immediately I was just transported into Silent Hill in a musical sense and I was like I can see it like glitching I'm like as soon as we get a gun and then there's like these infected bio organics I'm like okay I see what I, I see what's going on here. all right what is it wielding can I invest? I can't investigate or inspect it anymore, but it's glitching. Like not like glitching for us, but it's like a, a glitching in the game here. Hmm. Well, oh, oh God, it's going. It's going so fast. Gestalt. Is this the girl in the photo? Oh, hello. Oh. You don't belong here either, do you? I'm Isa. Isa. Isa Ito. You should be careful. There's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but it's probably dangerous to go any further. 
That's okay. I understand. I have something I need to do, too. Take care. I hope you find who you're looking for. How do you know who I'm that I'm looking for someone, though? How do you know who I'm looking for? Okay. Um, a guest out with a knife, just cutting up uh, a unit here. Visually, appearance-wise, looks very similar, right? They, they looked very similar. Ice's note. Erica, if you find this note, despite everything that's happened, I've come to look for you. Okay, so Isa is looking for Erica. We're looking for Alina. Okay, well, everyone's just looking for someone, you know? Weird. This music is great. All right, let's have a look in this aperture card. There's so much redacted information here. Mond and Dr. High Security Wall Safe. Aha, the wall safe. Complies with USAN Public Safety Equipment Regulations 41 and 43 and features a high density craft style door secured with a numeric keypad. Proudly produced on HiMAT by VEB Mond and Tokta Tresotechnic. Instruction for use. Enter the code using the keypad. Press the confirm key in the lower right corner. Green light will light up. Rotate the dial on the left to open the door and to clear any previously entered digits, press the E key. E. What's the default code? Give it to me. Enter the factory default code 204512. Damn it, that's not a that's not a cliche default code at all. 204512. While the door is open, enter the desired new code in the keypad. Press and hold the confirm key for 10 seconds until the green light lights up. 204512, and then we can put a new code in. I'm assuming that the code can be as many or as little digits as you'd like, right? Okay. Wall safe time. I sir, with the knife. Weird. All right. I'm gonna make frequent saves. We only have four files. Um. So. Only four files. So you can't just make like a million backup saves. But I'll probably make use of the multiple save slots, I reckon. Alright, wall save. This will probably give us the classroom key and then we can proceed. It's all connected. 204512. And the dial. Uh, Q? Oh. I can't investigate that. Okay. Pick up the classroom key. Wow. Klaus and Zimmer. So unexpected that it would be that. Okay. Can we... Should we, uh... Should we do the... Can we see if we can do the code? Can we? Can we redo it? Doesn't look like we can close the safe. I didn't see the point in us doing it, but for some reason I thought that we might have been able to. And then it becomes our own personal storage safe or something, you know? How, like, Resident Evil has the item boxes? Oh, she's gone. Pick up repair patch. Cool. Picked up a repair patch. And ammo. Yep. I'll take it. All right, we've got ammo. And this unit has moved on. It's the classroom key. <laughs> there was a hole here. It's gone now. James Sunderland, would you like to drop into the hole? It looks like I can drop down safely. Drop down? Yes. Yo! Oh 
man. Okay. 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 It begins. Oh, this is creepy. Block A7. Worker accommodations. The atmosphere is so good. dead Yule unit. The synthetic skin and hair on her head were replaced with a layer of thin, wet gauze. Parts of her uh, polyethylene shell are missing, exposing her biocomponents. I wonder how this happened. Garbage bags. Okay. Oh, right. The game talking about what, like running in the hallways because they can hear you. It's going to be a thing. It, unlo <laughs> it unlocks from the other side. No! It begins. Begins South Corridor. Ooh, what is the, the lighting in here? It's very cool. Don't jump out at me. The lock is defective. No, that's not what I want. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to get, like, attacked by bodies on the floor, and they're just, like, traps. Service request form F29. Data filing service request form 84-21-6. Full protector ID of unit filing request star S2306. Star was the one that we would just talking to before that was doing the repair patch, right? Star? I, I, so many names that we're getting. I remember. S2306 replica. A guard in the workers' quarters. Full protector ID of unit processing request. ARAR S2305. Okay. Rile filing request and processing the request. Service object. Himmel Type D Automatic Security Door. Location of Object Worker Block A6 Corridor. The lock on the staff door in A6 is jammed again, requesting a locksmith. Electronics Reset Key is nowhere to be found. I set up a lock picking kit, but management bumped the elevator engines up in priority, so next shift we'll have to pick the lock. It's just a trial and error at this point. Find me if you need a key to open the service hatch, or ask management, whatever. Funth. We need to lockpick. Service hatch key required or lockpicking. Okay. Scrolled note. Kick them while they're down. 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 Don't worry, we're definitely doing it. Worker sleeping units. In facilities like these, these small caged bunks are all a gestalt worker can call their home. Or call their own, I guess. Both apply. Worker sleeping units. I can't investigate that. Still being watched by multiple cameras. A worker's uniform looks old and worn. I'm investigating everything because there might be like a worker's key card or some bullshit, you know, in like a uniform. Alina's diary. Feeling a little lightheaded today. I hope it's not that new flu that seems to be going around. I can't afford to miss any more shifts. That storch at the factory was chewing me out for what felt like hours for fainting at work the last time I got a cold. I haven't seen Elster the last few days. I hope she's okay. More and more people go missing in the mine lately, including replicas. Not even the protectors seem to be safe. I'm... Hang on. God, I, there's so many names, so you have to forgive me. I... Who am I? I'm Elster. Oh, I'm Elster. L-S-T-R. Right. I'm Elster with that naming convention. So some of them can have, like, nicknames or names based on their lettering. So Elster with an E. I'm an L-S-T-R. Star and okay, we'll get there. I'm pretty. You'll you'll learn if you're new here. 
and you've dropped in for Signalis, welcome. You'll learn that I'm horrible with names until it's beaten over my face. Sometimes I'll remember them, but I really need to be beaten into it with the names sometimes. Got a thing, I got a, I got a visual memory, I got a very photographic memory and a thing for like numbers and some sort of specific details, but names elude me very, very easily. Very, very easily. Worker sleeping units in facilities like these, these small cage bunks are all, I guess, not working. Call their own. We've got employee of the month stuff here, obviously. Sleeper of the month. Another diary. The protectors have been worried lately. They're hiding something. There's less of them. Ration plan keeps changing. Alina says I am imagining. At them, I can feel their fear like it's my own. What are they scared of? Oh, I'm so invested and enraptured already. Honestly. Worker sleeping units. Worker sleeping units. Okay. My ideal thing would be like, you know, how I used to be in here to see the prompt come up. I kind of wish that no matter where you were, you could see the prompt come up so I could kind of scan my environment and then you click on it and your character walks over there. That would be nice. Just so I don't miss things. If it is possible. Okay, A61, A64. I haven't even tried this up here. Ah, that's because we got a lock picket or get a key. Okay. Next area. Yeah. Broken elevator shaft, which is on F, I guess that stands for floor. <laughs> All right, we can call an elevator. West wing key required. An elevator. I love the first person switch for some of this. It's very cool. Vertical map of S23 Sopinski. So we've got mine access, laying orbital surface factory. Workers redacted. So this is the, it's been the renamed thing. They're like, this is no longer this. So we've got a renamed facility, Hos workers, hospital wing, uh, personnel, protectors, and operational command. We're in, the, we're in the hospital wing at the moment. Elevator controls locked. Insert protector identification. I need a protector identification card to unlock the elevator control panel. Do I not have one? No. All right. Everything that we had is gone. Okay. What's that? Service hatch key. Nice. I almost missed that. There you go. Oopsie. Almost missed that. Alright, let's just drop down here, obviously. I'm sure the elevator is out of order. Okay, let's check out block A7 before we do the service hatch. ceiling has collapsed. There's no way through. Does that mark on the map? It does. Clever. Thank you. Service hatch it is. Use the service hatch key. Oh god. Okay. Uh... Oh, this is cool. This is the lock picking thing. Okay. Huh, OK. 
Okay, pins. The door electronics reset switch normally requires a key to be operated. An ultrasound sensor mounted to the side of the lock. It's connected to the lock picking device. Ah, oh, it's okay. Hang on. I see. I see. Hold on. Are we matching to Are we matching to the line? Like this? Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, hang on. I need to, so I need to get, oh, okay, 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 hang on. I need to get these lines down to the bottom. I need to get the, all the pins down to the bottom. Okay, hang on. Which means that le needs less of a touch. That needs more of a touch. That needs less, like the same amount. That needs a little bit less. Hold on. Close, I think. Yeah, almost. Okay, that down there. That's going, that's too far. Maybe doing this wrong still. Hold on. <laughs> it's my first time. So I need to get. I, I felt like I was very, very, I felt like I was very, very close. <laughs> there you go. All right. First, first time. I was, um, yeah, looking at a different thing initially. North corridor. Butterfly box. The box is locked. It looks like it requires some sort of square shaped key. Okay. A square shaped key. I do not have. I do not have. We will keep an eye out for a square shaped key. Uh, first aid. Medical. Save point. <gasps> Storage. We do have just straight up an item box. Okay, cool. Um. We can only store up to six things, so I think we're going to... We might need the photo to show people, be like, hello, do you know this person? So I'm not sure. Um, repair patch. I'm assuming they stack. They do. Haunting save. There you go, we'll save in the staff room. Sure. And I keep doing the wrong one every time, don't I? Yeah. I really like the save theme music. It's very like Resident Evil 7.
Wunderwaffen unserer Nation im Kampf gegen das Reich Falk Einheiten. Wunderwaffen. Wonder Woman? Superweapon. <laughs> Wonder Woman? Superweapons of our nation in the battle against the Empire. Uh, Falk? Falky? Units? Falk units? Cool. Pick up East Wing Key. Well, I've got the East Wing Key. Not the West Wing Key, but it'll do. Interrogation Report. Subject Worker S-23-A-6514, Willem Chen. Offense, contraband found in locker. Result, confession. Punishment, no food for three cycles. Subject Worker S-23-A-3054, Michaela Wong. Illegal use of radio. Confession, isolation for two cycles. Subject Worker S 23 A 4952 Wolfgang Wong, illegal use of radio. Expired during interrogation, no punishment given. Worker S 23 A 3928 Franz Hyo, obscenity to the state. Passed out during interrogation, a double work shift for two cycles. Worker S 23 A 7331 Emil Huang. Trespassing expired during interrogation. This interrogation is dangerous. Oh no, sorry, not Emil, Emily. Okay. Yes. Memorandum wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies. Okay, we've read this already, but I guess if you miss it. Um, you can read it again. What is this? Pick up disposable stun prod too. Oh, okay, so this is like you can kick or use a stun prod on the enemies. Okay. Aig. Electro impulse devices. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro impulse devices. We've been supplied with a shipment of EIG-2 disposable stun prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handybook for more information. Electro impulse garat EIG-2. So the stun prod is a single use short range disposable non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown on the lower left of the inventory screen. The stun prod can be used with one hand while on the move and even while aiming another weapon once equipped to use the stun prod, simply press C when facing a nearby enemy. Warning, high voltage electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care. Do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. So wild to make it a disposable thing that can easily be um, rendered invalid. Okay, so we have a tool thing. Our inventory is now full. So if we go equip, that's now in the tools, and it still stays in the inventory. So our inventory is now full, so we need to watch out for that. We can store stuff. Um, okay. I think it's six digits for codes based on one that we saw. Okay. Wondering if there's any clues, but the clues will probably be elsewhere and we'll have to come back here. So we've got some stun prods, some prodding stunny rods, and unlocks from the other side. We've got the east wing key, so we wish to go, I guess we'll be going there, back to the south corridor. Hopefully we don't need to pick up any new items because our inventory... Oh my god! That is very well done. I was like, Whoa. Oh yeah, because I'm... Oh yeah! Because I'm running. Alright, I want to try this. I want to try this. Alright, let's see. Okay, the 
music is dying down. Very Silent Hill. Oh. Okay, okay. You're gonna see me anyway. <gasps> oh, there's multiple. There's multiple. Oh, shit. Uh. Whoa. Holy shit, dude. All right. Stun rod number one has been used. Whoa, okay, cool, Ben. And these enemies that were in here before have stood up. All right, we've used a stun rod. We had to at least see how they work. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna choose to. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. This isn't the door. Oh shit, it locks me on the other side. Oh fuck. Where's the east wing? I just put myself in a in a shitty place. Oh, hang on, it's there. Why have I done this to myself? I think I need to go. No. Oh. Shit. Oh. Damn. Wasting ammo I don't have, man. Alright. We're down to 10 bullets. All because I went the wrong way. Nothing to even scavenge from dead bodies, I don't think. Damn it. Dude. Why? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wasted all my ammo going down there. Didn't need to do that. Oh god. Hello? Hello? Oh god, the slow. Uh, okay. The slow reveal. The stall is locked. There's someone inside. Oh my god. A repair patch. Nice. Well, we haven't suffered any damage. We've been making sure that we survive. Oh, interesting. Okay. God, the environments here are really cool. Ah, oh, the lighting. Repair yeah. spray, okay. Repair spray. So we've got repair patch and repair spray. Single so use spray gun to fill damaged areas with polyethane-based expanding foam restores a large amount of health over time. And a sealed single-use adhesive patch containing a coagulation agent to patch up damaged areas, a small amount of health over time. Okay. Expanding construction foam that can be used to fill up wounds and stop leaks. Takes a few seconds to expand, but very hard once fully cured. So you, I'm wondering if you can use it on other... You don't have to use it on just me, but it can be used on other things. Um, oh, I can go through. For some reason I thought, ooh, hello. One second. Oh my god. Oh, this that's from the cutscene. Okay. It's the, it's the one from the cutscene. With the fans slowly going, oh, there's a bulging mass in this, in the corner. Okay, this kitchen looks lovely. I don't think we're running, I think we're walking. But we're getting caught anyway. Mensa key. Oh, stealth is possible? Yes. Awesome. What is this though? It's breathing. Yeah, nice. See, we're walking. Oh god, there's one. Walking as to not get caught. An R90 form. 84-21-3. Filed by U, uh, EULR. Replica of kitchen staff worker quarters. A U, uh, EULR RKM 7 spatial navigation module. 
My mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. Mars. No space to carry the Mensa key. 14, okay. The glitching on them is wild. Okay, we need the Mensa key. And this is where the carry limit comes into play. I feel like it's probably safe for us to leave the photograph in the item box, I reckon. Oh, shit. I actually was sprinting that whole time. Okay, never mind then. For some reason I thought that I was walking, but I must have toggled it off. So I'm not even alerting them when I am sprinting. They're playing tricks on me. I'm going to put the repair spray away and I'm going to put the photograph away. I'm going to save my game. Gonna save my game. Rug received in file 01. Then we'll get this key. Maybe it's just it's just so wrapped up in in work, you know? Just so wrapped up in work, doesn't notice me running around. Okay, pick up the Mensa key. Yep. Magnetic keycard for the worker Mensa. Temporary 14 S23 logistics Mensa access only for kitchen personnel. Temporary. Tree, okay. Watched on the cameras. Okay, it's just the one door at the bottom here. Oh man. Ah, there's there's items to be gathered. Can I stealth it? Is it possible? Ooh, yes it is. Maximum amount of repair patches I can have! Shit! 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 I've been hit. Oh, wow. Did not expect you to turn around. Alright, grab the shit. Oh, why are they invisible? Oh, they're not invisible. It's the lighting? What the fuck? Okay. Sheesh! Alright, my health has changed a little bit. Alright. We've got enough repair stuff. Wow. Okay. Not expected to turn around. <gasps> oh, Jesus. All right. How many shots will it take? Oh my God. Shots will it take to get down. Yeah, damn, gotta choose, your, gotta choose your moments. All right, Southeast Corridor. Oh, we can now unlock this door from the other side. Good. Unlock the door. Classic. We can unlock this door? Oh, no, it's defective. Okay. Ooh, a person. Hello. Storch. Okay, I've read your name before. You don't look like you belong here. You're an Elster unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. Shouldn't be here. I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here, but as you can probably see, we've got bigger issues right now. Looking for the commander, I've bad news for you. She got sick and everyone else is getting sick too. 
pick up West Wing Key. Is that... Who is that on there, though? Magnetic key card for the worker quarters West Wing. Oh, it is her. It's her. It's for Alina Sayo. She got the, f like, fucked up looking face, but it's very similar to Isa. Okay. Wild. Hmm. About the administrator. Work shift controller to the night shift controller. Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Affected guard units is star S2304, S2305, S2306, S2309. Affected controller units is STCR uh, S2303 and S2306. Until an effective treatment is found or reinforcements are sent from HIMAT, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option. Storch Cybern, STCR S2307. P.S. Keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we'll have to ask Calibri for help. Ooh, this is very cool. Figuring out this stuff. I'm going to take a quick break while we're in this room. Have a moment to breathe, and then we'll continue. All right, let's get back into it. We've had a little late night snacky snack, and now we can get back to playing the video game. Um, what is this thing? What is this thing? I'm not allowed to know. Is this person really tall? It's not a trick of, like, perspective. Like, I'm at, like, waist level, right? Yeah, 100%. God damn! Storch is staunch. Huge woman. Huge robot woman. The dream. Let's go. Okay. God damn. I was like, wait a minute. Perspective of this room? Or are you massive? Gotcha. All right. The rationing office. Lovely. Cannot go through this door. Can go through this door. And we will. Okay. What is this? Pick up broken key. Okay. Is that? That's a full inventory. A strange rectangular key with a butterfly wing. Oh. With a butterfly wing pattern. We need to find the other half and we will have ourselves a key for that butterfly box. Problem, however, is once again, my inventory is full. Wait, hang on. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Oh, I've got the West Wing key. Obviously, we go out the goddamn West Wing. Okay, we'll go to the item box and we'll drop everything off and then we've got the West Wing key. Silly. So we'll go this way. Ah, oh, this makes sense. We've already dealt with these enemies, which is good. <gasps> no, you got back up. You... God damn fucker. Okay. Uh, we definitely kicked them while they were down. Yeah, okay. Enemy that we kick them while they're down, but they still they still come back. Wow. Wow. Not appreciative of that. Alright, we're gonna store the broken key. Um I need the rest. I need the rest. Which is funny. Made that funny. That I need the rest. We'll probably end up using the pistol ammo. So we've got one slot. Let me out of here, please. Thank you. Okay. It unlocks from the other side. That is because that is wrong. Okay. Oh yeah, I have to go there. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why I thought that the East Wing key was that one, because the West Wing key is down here over this side, but the East Wing one is this one. Ha ha. Right on, dude. Okay. Butterfly box. Wall safe, which we do not have the code for. 
Let's go to the west wing. Let's try. Oh, man. Okay, where are you? Oh, okay. I, well, there's only one way to test. You know, you want to see if you need to, like, if you can, like, uh, yeah, okay, you can't avoid, but I wanted to see if you could, like, kind of push past enemies and they need to do an animation or something. All right, I'm going to use this. That sounded like an Among Us sound effect. Now, it should be restoring over time, I believe. So we don't want to use multiple. Is it healing me over time? If you've played Among Us and you've ever completed a task in the game, um, that is what that sounds like. Yeah, there we go. I've healed. I'm back in the blue, and that item is now out of my inventory. Okay. Oh, actually... Considering the fact that we picked up the key card of the person that we're looking for, it makes me wonder if we could have shown Storch the um, the photo if we had it in our inventory. Curious about that. Mineshaft A access. I need an administrator's key. Blocked. We can go in there. Alright, this looks like it's got a shower head symbol. Hello. Mind if I just... Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Okay, straight into it. Sometimes you want to see if you can get away with it, but other times you are not allowed to... Oh, oh God, I was like, where are you? Down. I was like, where the fuck was it? Because I thought it was me. Alright. Sheesh. Stay out. Yep. Shower head symbol. Mirror. Okay, this looks to be the other half of the key. Yep. Is there anything else in here? God, this is like... So creepy. There's another... I can just walk. Nice. I don't have to walk around. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. We've got a bunch of these. I should really use these. Considering the fact that I'm sitting on... Me? Search protocol. Protector controller on duty. STCR S2303. Protector on duty. S2305. Hel uh, Helen or Helena Song S-23-A-4822. Confiscated items are watching a ring in the dorm A16. Workplace political morals class. Arrested in ongoing investigation of a stolen radio. Original reason for transfer, counter-revolutionary activity. Distributing flyers at university. Uh, worker S-23-A-3582. Julia Hong. Confiscated items, medication in dorm A64, in mining operation A, arrested on suspicion of bioresonance. Confiscated hydrox hydroxycarb hydroxycarbamide pills have been sent to the medical wing. Special supervision request has been forwarded to Calibri. S-23-A-0512, Alina Co, which is the one that we're looking for, confiscated a cosmetic box with butterfly inlay. Dorm A61, workplace factory, collapsed at the workplace from exhaustion, bunk was searched before transfer to medical wing. Okay, well, we've got the key and we can open this box up. Worker S-23-A-2367, Heinrich Fukuyama, Confiscated a fountain pen in dorm A22. Mining operation A. Recent transfer from the factory. Arrested on suspicion of conspiracy against the state. Okay. Good information there. Um. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, nice. We can open that door. Wow. You're a bigger one than the other ones. And you're just patrolling the whole. Oh. 
patrolling the hallway. Okay, I don't like this at all. Frequencies. Oh shit. Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, and sword. These are radio frequencies. Alright, well these are committed to our memory now, are they not? Yes, they are. Okay. Is that what... That's like a radio frequency that we're hearing at the moment or something, maybe? Okay, we've got radio frequencies. God, this is... Comfortable. Okay, okay. Oh, well, come on! Okay, well, I don't, I don't really have a choice there. Like, I really genuinely didn't have a choice there. <laughs> Just walked out and got hit twice. Okay. Wait, the perspective of this room is really fucking with me. What the fuck? What's going on? Repair spray, sure. Repair spray plus. God. Um... Yeah, the perspective of this room is really fucking with me with, like, the shadows and the lighting of those cages! Okay. Alright, I need to go back in to unlock this door quick, just to the... Oh, don't be there! Don't be there! Don't be there! Dude, go through the door! Oh my god, okay, hang on. Fucking stupid. Go through the door. Oh my dear lord. Holy shit. Alright, well we've used a repair spray as soon as we got it. My god. My god. Oh. Handled that exceptionally well. Didn't even didn't even mess it up a little bit. Alright. Da 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 key. Yes, I could have used my stun rods, but why? All right, butterfly box. We unfortunately do not have a wall safe code though. In it goes. Use the key. Ooh, a mysterious artifact is placed in the box. Up the plate of eternity. Something I just noticed as well on the key as it turned, and I wish that I in inspected the item before we did this, is I think it had those red squares that were on the back of the photograph in the future. Plate of eternity. What is that? Picked up plate of eternity. Heavy hexagonal stone plate feels warm to the touch. Um, the surface appears to be made of smooth, polished black marble or granite, but there is something soft and wet inside. Okay, we've just been transported somewhere. Oh, that's really weird. All of a sudden, I can I have full first-person camera control. What the hell? Oh, that's really weird. Oh, that's so strange that I have that. I, ooh. It feels so weird in a game like this. I've gotten so used to the different camera perspective. This game has like a total first person mode to it. It's really awesome, actually. I kind of want to be able to play the whole game like this and also play it in the other camera side. Like, if you, imagine if you could play the game in first person. That would be awesome. I mean, it's in the game, it's here. They could totally make it work. Oh shit, radio frequencies. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what radio frequency we want. Um, moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, and sword. Um, okay. I don't really... <laughs> What should we go for first? Some kind of special locking mechanism. There's some sort of speaker or microphone on the front. 
I can't, okay, I can't do it here. Not yet. This is the radio. Oh, this is so weird, dude. To radio officer Young, station six. Dear Iris, I hope you and Ariane are both well. I've spoken to the officials at Aeon and they agreed that it would be best for Ariane to attend school in Sector C. I have a spare room she can stay in until she graduates. I know you two are inseparable, but we both know that it is best for your daughter if she receives a normal education in the city. Love, your sister, Camilla. If there was a way to play like a whole game in like a first person horror style and then you can aim with your the aiming would still work it would all still work be awesome door is locked from the other side oh that's the wind god REM 64 long wave radio receiver module user manual the REM-64 Long Wave Radio Receiver Module allows a replica unit to directly receive and process LF, low-frequency, AM amplitude modulation radio transmissions in the range of 50 to 250 kilohertz. The REM-64 module is installed in the module slot behind the left ear of Generation 5 replicas. To access the module's functionality, open the inventory screen and press W to open the subsystem screen. The receiver module will show up on the far left here. To switch the radio receiver on and off, press F. You can adjust the frequency with Q and E. When the receiver is on, the frequency indicator will light up red and the spectrogram bars will begin to move. When, turned to, when tuned to a station with the subcarrier signal, the signal label will ignite. When tuned to a signal transmitting a data stream, the data label will ignite and the transmitted data will be displayed in the transcription field at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Give me the radio. A replica radio module in the box. We have picked it up. Access it by pressing up in inventory and when tuned to certain frequencies, automatically decoded messages will appear in the transcription window. REM64. This is an interesting thing to note, the plant in there. Okay, to the inventory. Uh, I've got my receiver. So we've got our Metal Gear Solid codec. Transcription. Wind. Two. To five. To two. Zero. End transcription okay broad front forecast temp 2-6 visibility 30 h u h 80 wind 2-5-2 zero end okay so we can tune it okay so we're gonna go to 52 which is moon okay sun is 80 Scales, 110. Rook, 146. Tree, 180. Sword two two eight None of those frequencies on that note yield anything. Oh, 
almost get a completely quiet signal. Almost. 51365. Oh god, this is a lot. This is just a lot of numbers. Okay. 160. We're just getting a lot of numbers. Endless numbers. This goes back to a hundred. This goes back to the weather. Interesting. Okay. So these, these ones that have been given to us in the frequencies list all yield to nothing. Okay. You can keep it on. Oh, you can tune the radio while we've got it. Okay. So if I have 160, and then it's doing all these numbers, can I interact with this? Oh, cool. Okay, there you go. Oh, this is not at all terrifying. Oh, what the fuck? What? What do you mean? What? Now I'm back here. What did I just... What did I just do? What did I just witness? Alright, I've still got the radio. Okay. What? Okay, now should we try these frequencies then? Now that we're back in like... Normal area? I have no idea, dude. Um, okay. Radio. Let's try the other ones. I've got, I've just taken a photo of the frequencies on my phone of once we highlighted the, the document. So let's go to 52. Yeah, there's definitely more stuff happening now. Cool. There's more things happening. 4512. 204512. Oh, it's do, yep, yeah, it's doing wall safe codes. Doing wall safe codes. Shit, what was the first one that it did? Was that the one for the the wall? Alright, that was the wall safe code. Did it just give us the Did it just give us one? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go to Sun with 80. Seven, zero, one, zero, four. One of these has got to be the wall safe code. Could be this. Seven, zero, one, zero, four. One ten is five, four, eight, three, five. I guess these these must all be radio these must all be wall safe. Just things in general then, right? Is that what this is? All of them? Different wall safe codes? Nine one six nine eight. Yeah, they're all just different series of numbers. We're getting data every time. One, zero, one, zero, three. And then sword is all the way at the end here. 228. Four, zero, five, eight. Nine. Okay. Well, 
This is how the radio works. We figured out radio. How exciting. Mostly it's just nothing. Then you'll have an instance where you'll get some stuff. Which are, seem to be wall safe codes. Oh, and then I, yeah, I can keep it equipped and keep tuning. So I guess if I need something that's like on a radio frequency. All right, to turn it off, I have to go in here. Turn it off. There you go. Okay. Weird. Well, we've got the wall safe in the office here. Um, is there a particular giveaway as to what this one would be? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the symbol of a tree. Oh, perfect. Okay. Then it's the tree radio. Cool. I get it. I understand now. So we want to tune this to 180, which is the tree. And now we will be able to get into different wall safes. Okay. Love it. The code is one zero one. Zero, three, one zero one zero three. It works. Radio, baby. Nice. In a roundabout way, it turns out that doing the butterfly box gets us the wall safe code. An identification card. Four star five two three two zero. Okay, nice. We are able to now move on um, with that identification card. And I believe the ID card needs to go into the elevator, right? So it's the yeah elevator control that we can now access. Awesome. However, with that in mind, I think that this is going to be our point where we bring this first episode of Signalis to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the rest of the playthrough. This has become uh, an instant classic for me. I love its presentation. The atmosphere is so cool. It is fun to play. I'm enjoying the mystery and the horror and yeah it's it's really gripped me immediately i'm really enjoying it because I, I love survival horror stuff in general and this just seems to be uh just a great time just a great time i can't wait to see what else is in store because we've only just started you know that's the crazy part we've only just started i think we've got to get underneath the surface of what this is and see how crazy it can get because it's already off to a great start. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're looking forward to the rest of the playthrough and I will see you next time.